more finishers about to make their way. Some more epic training and the Get a picture together with you two. How many laps did you guys get? Nine. Wait, wait. Always move your camera. Yeah! Woo! Nine Woo! laps? Nine. Nine. Yeah. My goal was five. I totally crushed that goal. <laughs> All right. Oh, your sleeves are so cute. Those are socks. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. I made them in the last minute. <laughs> Congratulations, Dollar many, store. How many laps did you end up getting? I think 12. 12? Wow. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All your stars and uh, stuff? I, I am not sure. Um, that might be the case. Like I said earlier, there was a lot of movement among the women's uh, field in the last couple hours. So um, I don't have the official results and the official timing. Uh, we'll have to wait for the awards. But uh, from the reports that I'm hearing, it sounds like Sarah uh, is going to be in second. <laughs> Thank, yeah, you. Awesome. Thank you. How many laps did you end up getting? Ten. Ten. Was that your goal? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. you ready for a nap? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take Congratulations. Care. Thank you. Uh, the length of the uh, course was a five mile loop course that racers did as many times as they could in 24 hours. So, Morgan, Adrian, 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 I didn't get your finish because uh, I was still at the, uh, your last little loop, but uh, how do you how do you feel? Um, it's starting to set in how much pain I'm in. <laughs> Great, and now I'm like, oh, I can't really walk. <laughs> but I'm super excited, so really first 24-hour race, so I can't. This is your first? Yeah. Holy shit! I can't complain. <laughs> that is so, amazing. Yeah, I was surprised with my body. There's some times yeah. where I was like, mm, I feel pretty bad, and then I just get back in. And nighttime was actually the easiest for me. The day, I found the night was yeah, easier to the, the like afternoon when the sun came out. Oh. I was like, oh, this is hot. Yeah. Well, Adrian, great job oh, on thank your first you. 24 hour. Yeah. Are you ready to do another one now? Yeah, I want to do World Toughest Modern. I was about to say, you should do World yeah. Toughest Modern. This is kind of like the test out to see if like, I would do yeah. it. And I was like, oh, go body. Like, <laughs> you help. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Uh, I don't have the, the, I don't know, I'll have to wait for the, the uh, I don't, I don't know if it's the death of Ryan or, or uh, Your official finality is waiting for yeah. your results. Yeah, you can go to the results. Hey, uh, how many laps did you end up with? Huh? 16. 16. Yeah. How's that medal? It's heavy. <laughs> hey, you want to say anything to uh, Sarah and Declan? Sarah, Declan, thank you for the support. Appreciate Declan's fist pump. That was awesome. For those that don't know, can you tell us what Declan's fist pump is and how old your son is? He looks like a little monk. He's two weeks old, and it was just like, <laughs> and he his ears popped out. So it's pretty funny. Sarah says that she loves you with an exclamation point. Well, I give her two exclamation points. <laughs> I wish she was out here. <laughs> well, great job. Thank you. Uh, what did you think overall? You've done a lot of long endurance stuff, so how did uh, BFX? You know, it's funny. It's a lot of a lot of the talk in the course was, you know, the obstacles were were just basic, but I've never I, I no can I say shit. Just yeah, like, all right. No shit, like, I can't remember the last time I was this smoked. So, basic obstacles still did the job. You don't, you know, there's other ones that do fancy 
schmancy fun things, but this was basic and it, it destroyed, I think, everybody out here. So, uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, I think it's time for you to uh, get something to eat. Yeah. Maybe uh, go go to the timing, the timing area, Figure get all out, your stars. Yeah. And... See if it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, they do not sleep. Uh, they have a pit area. Uh, you can go back on our Instagram on Mud Run Guide. You can see some of the pit areas. But uh, the racers pretty much stay up the whole time. They might lay down for a little bit. Christopher, yes, Beard, Accord. Um, it's not in the books yet. We're still going. But uh, what's your assessment of the very first uh, BFX 24? I think it was a. I think it was a pretty legit uh, course. And uh, it's good to see how people push themselves. Definitely a different animal than World's Toughest Mudder, which I wasn't expecting them to struggle as much on it. Um, which I wasn't expecting them to not get as many miles in as they did in World's Toughest Mudder because the weather down here is essentially perfect. But it's a little bit different having a flat course with a, a lot of rough body intensive obstacles that you can change on the fly. Uh, essentially every lap if you wanted to. So I'm really proud of how Battle Frog and the crew really pulled this together and made things happen and just the end result and everybody's feedback on the course itself. Excellent. Well, thanks. Thank uh, you guys. I, I saw a couple beard PMs and <laughs> so we've got uh, Lindsay and, and Ryan are here. Yeah, man. But I don't know. I'm beat. Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay, hey. I know I talked to you a little bit, but yeah. uh, um, you decided to, to, uh, to finish your race or, um, this morning, I guess it would be. Was it last night or this morning? It was to tell this anybody. morning around just after 4 a.m. Um, yeah. A couple people were, were worried that you were injured, so for those oh. who thought you were injured, um, you want to dispel any rumors? Yeah, no, I'm not injured, actually. I feel really great right now, so obviously I'm, like, walking a little bit slowly, but otherwise I um, feel really good, so not even that sore or anything. But um, So basically I stopped because, like, my goal was to finish 10 hours, and I did that, and then I started, like, feeling these weird things coming on. Like, every time I was hanging from my left arm, my spine would crack, and my shoulder was getting really sore, so I was like, well, that's probably not good, so... Just little things like that that I was like, I'm gonna like stop before I get really injured and then you know can't finish out my race season or have to take like a couple months off or something. So yeah, so um, I'm glad I did because I feel really good. But I think it was a really good training day and um, yeah. So hopefully this is gonna help me a lot for World's Toughest Mudder because uh, I plan on doing that and running all 24 hours of that. Um, yeah, and I want to run the whole time just like I did. Like I ran all 11 and a bit hours um, yesterday. So. And you've got uh, um, you're headed to Atlanta soon, right? To film. Yes. The stuff with ESPN, I believe. Right? Yeah, ESPN and Battle Frog. Awesome. Pretty fun sprint race. So like switching yeah. hats here a little bit. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I mean, obviously you, you might be a little bit biased, but. Um, what do you think of Ryan's course that he and David came up with? Um, I think it was awesome. I really liked that they changed everything up like every couple hours and stuff based on feedback from participants and how people were feeling and it just kept things really interesting so that you were never bored out there or anything. So. But yeah, it was still quite challenging. Um, lots of obstacles where you're kind of doing a lot of chin-ups and hanging and everything. So yeah, pretty grip strength based. And do you think it's a coincidence? that a Canadian, well, a Canadian and an American, but um, kind of a Canadian uh, put this course together with the help of uh, David as well. And uh, All Canadians won. And two Canadians won. Do you think that there's something in the water in Canada? <laughs> it's that maple syrup, it must be. Maple syrup. So, so no, I don't know. All Canadians that are good off snow racing are good because of maple syrup. Yeah, basically. Oh, so, yeah. I don't know, maybe just go to Vermont and, like, drink some there or something. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I like that guy because he was wearing a uh, Canadian death race um, oh, yeah. rag on his head. So, yeah. last year I did the Canadian death race, and um, so we had that in common. It was cool just to see him out on the course and kicking mud. So, that was nice. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah.
Good job, man. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Thanks. Awesome. Cool. Can I cool. steal a video of myself for Yeah, 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 I'll send it to you. Congratulations! Yeah, How many laps uh, did you end up with? Ten. Ten. Was that about your goal? Or? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I, I set that. I set that as my goal around, I'd say, midnight. And I spent from around three o'clock to five o'clock convincing myself that I couldn't do it, but. The cool thing about Battle Frog is that it brings out that, that, I don't know, that inner voice that makes you push harder. And that's what's cool about a race made by racers is that you, you want to excel, you want to push yourself to get to that next level. So thank you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Oh, wait. Oh, you, I told you. Ten laps. Sorry. I've been awake since you... Since early. Since early. Yeah. yeah. I haven't slept since uh, yesterday morning, so... <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. How did the race go for you? Uh, it was rough, but it was fun. Yeah. How many laps did you end up with? Fourteen. Fourteen. It's yep. impressive. Was that? Uh, did you think you were gonna hit fourteen or? No, I thought I was gonna end up at eleven or twelve, and then right around there, I caught a little bit of extra energy and caught a glimpse of the possibility and knocked out three laps really quick I think in about four hours and put myself in the possibility of it so awesome, awesome. well congratulations thank you awesome <laughs> all right we're going to end this scope here and uh we'll be back uh, probably we'll be back at this point uh we'll watch out for sarah to cross the finish line i know a lot of people want to watch her cross the finish line and then uh of course we'll be live for the awards so stay tuned and uh, we'll be here giving you all the coverage.